There it is. Giant volcano ready to blow. Wait. That's the volcano you were talking about? Yeah. Look at it. It's about to spew liquid hot magma everywhere. But that's just a model. Are you kidding me? It's a giant volcano right on Morton Island. Mm, I doubt it. I mean, volcanoes generally only form on the boundary of Earth's tectonic plates. Huh? The Earth's crust, or surface, is broken up into lots of different pieces which fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. And we call these pieces tectonic plates. These plates float on a liquid surface called magma. Occasionally, they bump into or move away from other plates, and when this happens, you can end up with earthquakes. But if there's a volcano between the plates, you can end up with liquid magma bursting through the volcano opening and erupting lava onto the Earth's surface. Volcanoes kind of act like chimneys on the Earth's surface, and they release hot gases and liquids like magma. A lot of volcanoes don't erupt that regularly. Some stay dormant for hundreds or even thousands of years. Well, this one isn't dormant. It's smoking up and releasing heaps of gases. I'll be covered in magma in no time. Well, if you're going to be covered in anything, it would be lava. See, magma and lava are generally the same thing. Molten hot rock, but we call it magma when it's in the Earth's surface and lava when it comes out the top. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, the lava is about to erupt now. I don't think so. Oh, like anyone can even tell when a mountain is going to explode. Well, there are actually people who study volcanoes. They're called volcanologists. And they might look at how the rocks are moving around the volcano, what kind of gases are being released at the top, even how animals are behaving around a volcano. And by looking at past eruption patterns, they can predict when a volcano might erupt. Well, that all sounds fascinating. But being in the way of an active volcano could be really harmful. So if you do find yourself near one, listen to the experts and health authorities and do what they say. You need to get out of there, like we should be doing right now. Yeah, you definitely don't want to go near an active volcano, but I think we're pretty safe today, Matt. What? But why? Australia lies on the Indo-Australian tectonic plates, and we're nowhere near the edges, so Australia doesn't really have any active volcanoes on it. But can't you see that volcano right there? Yeah, but that's just a model. You made it out of paper mache and painted it. Yeah, can you just go along with it for the purposes of this episode? Okay. Well, what about the pyroclastic flow? The what? Pyroclastic flow is a current of hot gas and volcanic matter that gets thrown out of the volcano during an eruption. It can move at speeds of up to 700 kilometers per hour and reach temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Pyroclastic flows can be absolutely devastating in some explosive situations. Matt, what are you doing? I'm tying up my shoelaces. That pyroclastic flow sounds terrifying and I gotta run out of here. What? This volcano is just filled with vinegar and when we add bicarb soda to it, it makes a chemical reaction so it looks like it's erupting. It's about to blow! If you want to watch this episode again, check it out on our website and don't forget to hit us up on social media. You can do all of this inside, in all sorts of weather, unless a lightning strike causes a blackout. But it's bye for now and I'll see you next time where the ordinary becomes extraordinary under the scope. You survived?